Hello everybody, today we're going to take a look at the differences between Cat 5, Cat 6, and Tactical Cat 6. Um, this is just going to be a quick video based on the physical construction of the cables versus the data throughputs of the cables. But um, I've, got, uh, I've got two cat cables on my workbench and I thought that it would be a cool thing just to, um, just to highlight some details. So let's, before we look at tactical cat, let's take a look at cat five versus cat six. I know that this is a question that a lot of people have. Um, so this gray cable is cat five, the blue cable is cat six. Um, and to the naked eye, they look very much the same. Um, so let's, let's look at these cables up close. Um, as far as the conductors go, they are pretty much the same. Um, the biggest difference between cat five and cat six is just the twists. Um, so this is a stripped conductor in, in cat six. In, in this hand, this is a stripped conductor in cat five. Um, they are the same diameter. It's a 26 gauge wire. Um, but the difference again is just, is just in its construction. So, um, let me peel back and we'll look at our orange pairs together. Um, on the right hand side is cat five and on the left hand side is cat six. Um, you can just tell that on cat six, the, the wires are, are twisted in tighter pairs. Um, the other thing that's different is the exterior jacketing. Um, Cat 5 jacketing is very thin. Um, Cat 6 jacketing is a bit stronger. Um, a lot of Cat 6 jackets will, will also have a, uh, a little plus looking plastic piece that keeps each one of these conductors in its own tray. Um, and that just helps prevent some crosstalk and gives the cable more rigidity. So uh, in this particular one, it doesn't have it. I have other Cat5 cables in stock that, uh, that do. So um, there's, there's our two. Uh, let's get Cat5 out of here and let's look at Tactical Cat. Um, so this is a UTP cable, which means it's unshielded. We are going to look at a Tactical Cat cable that is an STP cable that is shielded. So... Um, this is what's called Data Tough cable, Data Tough being the brand name. Um, this is a very common cable used in the entertainment industry. Um, it's used for uh, snakes and, and long uh, data runs that you know people are walking on and, and anything that just is a bit more rigid. So looking at the construction of this cable, um, you can see, first of all, that it's got a, a shield wire or a drain wire. Um, it's got foil shielding, which we stripped back. Um, and it has a very thick plastic outer jacketing. It also has an inner jacketing that keeps the, uh, the pairs um, separated. So in this particular cable, I have the pairs flipped out and separated because I was working on a pinout, but um, normally they would come in just like you would, uh, you would normally have it like this in twisted pairs. Um, the difference between this cable is where I could take my thumbnail and... Uh, and pull these cables apart like that. These are actually molded together, so you have to untwist the pairs, uh, pull them out, and then cut them, pull the wires apart to actually separate them. So that's an extra step. So um, what I was referring to earlier a second ago is uh, this little this little plus-shaped piece where it looks like an X. That is uh, a piece that keeps the cables separated within the jacket. Uh, is, that's a normal feature for Cat 6. Um, and again, this cable has it. So again, just looking at these, Side by side, you know, the first thing that you're going to notice is cable diameter. Again, this is an STP cable versus a UTP cable. Uh, STP being it has this, this bare wire that's a shield, um, and this cable obviously does not have that. So outer jacket, foil shield, inner jacket, little X-shaped piece that keeps the conductors separated. So this is tactical, and this is a regular pull box thing that you can get at any hardware store. So um, again, as far as the cabling goes, they're essentially the same internally. Um, this, this one is built just to, to be coiled frequently and used in, in fields that are deployable. Um, you know, it, you can certainly put this in your home or your office. It, it is not necessary unless it's something that uh, is being handled a lot. Certainly this is, is perfectly fine for a majority of applications. So um, 
as far as data throughput goes, I don't really want to go into that in this video. I just wanted to basically show the difference between the uh, the three cables and uh, as far as build quality goes. So if anybody has any questions, please just leave a comment below. Uh, happy to go into uh, into detail about any of the nerdier aspect of things, but um, appreciate you stopping by and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.